Now again, this is a continuous stitch and we'll try to tie it in a slightly different way. So as I, as I said, the first way of tying it is just to use like a simple stitch using the needle holder, put the needle holder in the middle, two throws, hold the other end, pull through and so on. Okay, but that's not how we are going to do it now. This time we are going to use something called Aberdeen knot. Okay, now if you look here, there is a loop this is a loop between these two ends, and this is a free end, okay? This is where the needle is attached. This is a free end, okay? So in the loop, we'll put three fingers, thumb, index, and middle finger, okay? That's clear, yeah? So this, this is a loop. This is three finger, thumb, index. So we put thumb, index, and middle finger. We open thumb and index, so it's almost like a triangle. And then we maintain pressure on this, so we hold it. We're not pulling too hard, but just holding it in its place, stopping it from pulling this way or that way. And then now we have like a triangle between thumb and index and middle finger in the middle. Middle finger goes in, pull this towards us without leaving this still. We're still holding it with the other hand, not leaving it. Still, you can see my hand over here. And then I'm just keep pulling, keep pulling keep pulling, keep pulling until I'm laying the knot down, okay? Now, once I've done this, again, another loop. So now it's closed loop, but again, three fingers, same three fingers, thumb, index, and middle finger. And again, I'll pull this end back. Again, you see this hand, left hand doesn't move at all. And again, I keep moving, pulling from the lower part and I keep pulling pulling until it's more of a tight loop, okay? And then again, one more time. So again, thumb and index finger holding the triangle and middle finger going there, holding this and again pulling. So the index finger is pulling and you can see as I'm pulling, I'm pulling from the lower part, upper part still held here. I keep pulling, 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 okay? Now I have a knot. Okay, you can see this, this is knotted. Now, if I don't do the next step and I just pull on this, it becomes unknotted. Okay, so I need to lock this knot so it doesn't unlock again. So again, I'm going to go again, loop, thumb and index finger holding the loop open, middle finger goes in, Hold the other end and pull. And pull from the lower part. Pull from the lower part until it anchors. And then again, thumb and index finger. Middle finger pulls. Again, this is second throw. And then again, thumb and middle finger. So an index finger holding the loop. Middle finger pulling. Keep pulling until it's knotted so again that's what we reached last time okay now if i want to lock it now what i do is that thumb and index finger as they are middle finger goes in but this time i will let go so middle finger will keep pulling keep pulling keep pulling and pull the needle through the loop on the other side okay now you can see it's gone through the other side now if I'm looking, if I keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, that's now locked. Okay, so that's now locked. I cannot pull it. I cannot undo it. Now that's locked. Okay, so that's Aberdeen knot.